about a half inch of rubber and we're dropping it right on top. So are sumo springs a complete waste of money? Well, short answer is yes, but you probably already knew that. Now, here we're gonna be comparing the sumo spring on the right with the smaller spring uh, generic bump stop on the left. Now at the end, we'll also discuss a third option, which just might be the very best one, possibly even better than the cheap $17 bump stop. All right, so before I tell you the downside of having any sort of oversized bump stop in general, I do just wanna do a quick price comparison. So here we have the the fancy $250 bump stops, reasonably good product. People assume they're super vehicle specific, but as you can see, it fits fits a few different uh, chassis sizes on a few different vehicles. So the idea you're getting a very optimal, unique product specific for your vehicle isn't 100% correct. Okay, so we got these guys for about you know about 17 bucks. Um, which are very, very similar in a lot of ways. 250, 17. Now, I mentioned I would tell you about one product that is sort of the in between, in between of these two. And I did find this. They seem to be quite a new product on the market, not a lot of reviews yet. They are out of stock currently. I took a screenshot. The price has increased. They seem to be, uh, trying to get as much as they can out of everyone as well, which I'm not a huge fan of. I will see about reviewing these later on in another video if, you know, if there's interest. Here's where we get into the real issue. As you can see, they're a little bit shorter, not quite half an inch shorter. Sumo springs measure almost exactly four inches. Cheaper generic options measure just over three and a half inches. One of the issues as well is, I'm not gonna bore you guys in an install video. I know there's a bunch of, uh, what would you say, van life grifters out there trying to push affiliate links down your throat. So I'm not gonna be one of them. As you can see, just over three and a half inches. Now, keep in mind, this material, it's a little more spongy. It does compress a little bit easier. The black sumo springs are a, are a little stiffer than the blue ones. So here I'm measuring it one more time, just under four inches. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to add a little bit of rubber to the top here in order to make it the exact same length of a sumo spring. This is where this little product comes in. The idea is that, you know, it uh, it goes right here and protects your trailer door from the ground. But obviously we're not using it for that. We're going to shove this right on top of the cheap leaf spring. So before we test drive anything, we have to, we have to cut these flat because um, they're about an inch thick right now and we only want half an inch. So here's what it looks like. So, okay. We have this perfectly cut down to almost exactly half an inch. Um, when I say perfect, I mean, you know, close enough to not matter. Okay, so here's the entire thing measured. Um, generic bump stop spring, plus that thing we just cut on top of it. And we're getting about, you know, just a hair over four inches, which is perfectly fine. By the way, did I mention that you have to drill the hole a little bit wider in order to fit it in? At the end of the day, I do want to touch on when you may or may not want bump stops. So for example, if you recently, if you just replaced your struts and you have some nice new good struts in there, it's quite likely you don't need bump stops unless you're in an extremely windy area of the country. If you do a fair amount of off-roading, bump stops are probably a, a, a net negative for you. So those are two situations where bump stops may not make sense to purchase. Okay, so I'm gonna take it on a test ride now, move it left and right, and I'll report back on how it handles. 
All right, don't do this on a busy road. Essentially, I'm swerving left and right just to get a feel for how those um, bump stops sort of handle the fine movements here. They were a little more mushy than the original Super Springs. That's okay for 90% of people. You know, you don't you don't, don't necessarily want something super, super stiff. So I took a look underneath the van a couple weeks later during a cold point in time. So here we have the bump stops here. All right, so this is the bump stop. And that articulation, I'm not 100% sure if it's completely healthy or not. It might just be pushed that way and stay there forever, but I don't know. I'm not 100% sure that that signifies a 100% healthy bump stop. Now, I'm gonna drive it around a little while longer to confirm that there's no quality issues, but uh, we can compare it to the Sumo Spring one. Okay, so yeah, it seems like it's bulging out one way. I'm not convinced how long this is gonna last. So I guess we'll just see see how it goes. But I can't really say 100% this is the absolute best solution, even though I really wanted it to be. Um, you know, at the end of the day, there's a lot more time involved. You have to You have to buy the rubber on top. You have to cut the rubber on top. You have to remove both wheels to drill a larger hole, which you don't really have to do on a um, when you're installing a, a sumo spring. So the combination of those three extra activities, you're probably looking at it at least an extra hour or two or probably closer to three hours worth of labor. So you really have to figure out what's your time, what your time is worth. All right, so you see here, it looks a lot more normal. You know, it doesn't look like it's about to snap in half. One reason being that it is, you know, the cross section is a little bit thicker. So at the end of the day, we need to have a real discussion. I'd love for, you know, I'd love to see people not spend so much on these oversized springs. Now, is the solution the cheap one I mentioned? Possibly. Is it possible the solution is something like this, which I brought up before? If I had to do it over again, I would gladly spend 85 bucks and, you know, two or three hours less of my time for a solution like this, which is probably a little bit better, all things considered. Now, I haven't tested this one out yet, but if I see this video is getting a lot of attention, I'll gladly test this product out for you guys and report back.